And a special thanks to iHerb for sponsoring today's video. Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to grow your hair with twist and this has to be one of my favorite protective styles for length retention and also just to give my hair a break. I'm unraveling my hair from this really cute bun hawk I did a week ago. After I've unraveled the style, I'm gonna mist my hair with a generous amount of water so I can wet the tangle and I love doing this because the water helps to coat the hair strand and also smooth the cuticle to support the hair strap which allows me to comb my hair with efficiency. I'm using a wide tooth comb to help ensure that my hair is tangle free. This is going to allow for a smooth transition when I go to shampoo my hair and scalp. And after I've detangled all four sections, here's how much hair is shed, which is really good. Now I'm gonna go into the shower so I can do my wash day. Iyer Beauty offers the greatest overall value for beauty and wellness products the world's over. They provide a selection of products that bring joy and excitement of discovering something new to their customers no matter their budget because they believe that every customer deserves quality products and quality should be available at every price point because everyone should feel like a million bucks. Before I apply my shampoo, I'm gonna saturate my hair with warm water. This is gonna help to open the hair's cuticle. Also, it helps to remove dirt and build up and allow the shampoo to work so much better. I'm gonna section my hair back into my quadrants because I can manage my hair and scalp a whole lot better this way. For my first product, I'm gonna use a Cures Ultra Hydrating Shampoo. This has argan and pumpkin oil in there and I love that for my hair. One, it's ultra hydrating, so not only is my hair and scalp gonna be nice and clean, I'm gonna make sure that I'm infusing my hair also with some intense moisture. And two, because the shampoo contains pumpkin oil, which is a mega omega fatty acid, which they're known to help boost hair's growth and also reduce hair's loss. So this shampoo is going to help with hair's growth and just keeping the overall hair and scalp very healthy. I make sure that my hair is nice and saturated before applying the shampoo because I can get a really good lather. And also I just find that products work a whole lot better once my hair is nice and saturated. I removed all the clips so I can massage the shampoo all in one and I'm gonna rinse it out with lukewarm water. And make sure to rinse all the shampoo out. You don't wanna cause any scalp or hair irritations. And my hair feels nice and moisturized after I've rinsed the shampoo out. Now I'm gonna move on to a scalp and hair scrub. This is by Zion Health, and I love using scalp scrubs just because it helps to buff off that dead skin. This is very gentle in a process of gentle exfoliation with penetrating nutrients to help purify the scalp is going to create a nice healthy environment for your hair to grow nice and resilient. This is gonna to help to remove impurities and excess oils, and it also has minerals that help to stimulate the healing and protecting of skin cells. So I would highly recommend to look into a scalp scrub and find one that's best suited for you. Using scalp scrubs is nothing like using sandpaper. It's very gentle because within about 10 seconds, the granules, they will dissolve with water. Some other benefits to using scalp scrubs is that it removes dead skin cells, also helps to decrease dandruff, unclogs hair follicles and helps to increase circulation. Because of this process, the hair is better able to absorb moisture and continue rejuvenation. So this helps to also protect and encourage strong, stable hair growth. And here's how my hair looks after I've rinsed the scalp scrub off. My hair is not dry and it does feel good. Next, I'm going to apply this Petal Fresh Superfoods Get Drenched Conditioner. This has coconut, 
vitamin E and almond oil in it, all ingredients that I know my hair and scalp love very much. Coconut oil helps to nourish, tone, and protect with its array of vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. It also helps to prevent against protein loss and helps to preserve cell balance and repairs the hair and scalp as it should. Coconut oil is also antifungal, antibacterial, and antimicrobial. It helps to prevent infections, which is amazing. Also with vitamin E oil, it helps to lock that moisture in, and almond oil is very good to help keep the hair nice and moisturized. So I love using all of these ingredients for that reason I make sure to apply this conditioner and smooth it down the length of my hair and as you can see I'm twirling the ends so that I can keep that curl this really allows for my hair to stay nice and secure as I'm doing my twists braids braid outs like any style that I do the ends of my hair stay nice and put I like to put a good amount of the conditioner in my hair and work it from roots all the way to tips and I finger detangle ensuring that my hair is nice and smooth before I use a wide tooth comb ensuring that my hair is indeed tangle free and that the conditioner is able to penetrate a whole lot better into my hair strands. After I know that my hair is nice and smooth, I am going to twist that section. This is going to allow for that moisture to be retained while I work on the other sections one at a time. And I use a little less than a palmful of conditioner per quadrant. After I have worked the conditioner in, I am going to go back to the very first section, rinse the conditioner out before I apply my deep conditioner. Using this technique has really allowed for moisture to stay in my hair a whole lot longer. And lastly, I'm applying this Pure Body Naturals Coconut Oil Deep Repair Hair Mask. And I love using hair mask every single wash day because it really helps to give that intense moisture to my hair. And because I will not be washing my hair for two weeks, I really need to prep my hair for success with these twists. The benefits of this hair mask is that it helps to hydrate, nourish, and provides intense repair. And this is exactly what I need for my hair. I really need it to be nice and hydrated as I'm going into the style. And as always, I am going to intensify the deep conditioning treatment with a plastic cap on. I love doing this because as I take my extended shower, my hair is able to get some TLC from this hair mask. After my extended shower, I'm ready to rinse this hair mask out and my hair feels so good. Very healthy for sure and also my scalp is nice and clean. I would highly recommend to use all of these products because it really helped and aided in the way my hair feels. Also because these products contain great ingredients that really work for a healthy hair and scalp and also for growing your hair in a healthy manner. And lastly, I'm going to apply a cotton t-shirt to help dry my hair. Because the fibers are so closely woven together, they're going to prevent a lot of frizz and over drying of the hair. Also, it's just a lot gentle and smooths the hair cuticles down, which is why I'm constantly using it. Now, fast forward, I am ready to style my hair. The first step that I'm gonna do is section my hair, how I'm going to wear it. So I'm using my favorite rat tail comb and I'm gonna divide my hair into four parts. This is pretty much giving me a blueprint of how my hair is going to lay. I like wearing an off center part. I feel that it frames my face better and I'm making sure that my parts are nice and clean. Because I'm wearing the style as a protective style and wearing it out, I want it to last and look as good as it could. To get that nice part going horizontally across my scalp, I just do two sections in the front and then I just find that it balances out overall. Now that I have my four sections, I'm gonna start on the first by prepping it. This step is very important, not only because you want your hair and scalp to be healthy, but also for the longevity of the style. If you prep your hair very good, it will last for the full two weeks. So I will be misting a whole bunch of water in my hair. Water is a moisturizer. And then I'm going to apply this Alafia Beautiful Curls Curl Activating Leave-In Conditioner. This was very good for my hair, very moisturizing, and I could tell that it was nourishing as well. I applied a good amount of of this because I want to make sure that my hair does stay nice and conditioned in the couple weeks to come. 
To help lock that moisture in, I'm gonna use some black castor oil from Heritage Store. I love using black castor oil. It has to be one of my favorite oils. It does not weigh my hair down, but if you have fine hair or you just don't like using heavier oils, I would highly recommend to use jojoba oil by Desert Essence, which I will use in a little bit. Castor oil, it really helps to make the roots stronger and prevents hair's fall, and it has the ability to stimulate hair's growth, and that is very important, especially now, once you wanna grow your hair castor oil is the way to go and I'm gonna comb my hair using the same wide tooth comb making sure that the products are distributed very well then I'm going to twist the section making sure that my hair does stay nice and moisturized while I work on the other three sections I also wanted to add that iHerb Beauty carries thousands of beauty and self-care products from around the world and ships to over 180 countries. And if you're outside of the US, you just provide a statement addressing iHerb Beauty shipping methods to your country at the link provided on the screen. Now that my hair is prepped, I'm ready to style it. I'm going to remove the clips and you can see my hair is very moisturized, which is very good. I'm gonna just pull my hair up and create my first section by using my favorite rat tail comb going straight across to create the first row. I'm making sure that I have a nice amount of hair going straight across. I don't wanna create mini twists, rather small twists. Small twists are easier to manage for me. I'm gonna make another part going vertically down and this is going to allow me to create my first full section for the twist. For my styler, I'm using this Alafia Curl Control Custard. I really like using this because it helped to make sure that my hair was one, moisturized and it also has a good amount of hold. This is going to help with the longevity of the style. I made sure to apply about a quarter size amount to this section and smooth it in with a rat tail comb, ensuring that my hair is tangle free and that the styler is smooth and distributed very well. I'm going to twist my hair and of course, as I always like to say, twist with purpose. Make sure that you are spending a good amount of time twisting your hair. You're not rushing through the process. You want to twist with intent. I'm gonna continue applying between a nickel and quarter size amount of this custard to each subsection of hair for the twist. I also love that this styler has unrefined shea butter and botanical extracts, which help with overall healthy hair and scalp. I'm gonna continue doing the same process over and over until I have fully twisted all of my hair. I will be showing you several more times how I like to twist. I'm really loving how all the products are working so good on my hair and also my scalp. The proof is in the pudding. You can really see how everything is working for my healthy hair journey. And Ayer Beauty is also your one-stop shop for global beauty. They have products from the US, Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Finland, the UAE, etc. You can get your favorite K-Beauty and J-Beauty brands all in one place. And as a beauty lover, I love that. It's very convenient for me.
And finally, the last twist. This is an amazing feeling when I'm just about finished all of my hair. This whole style took about 35 to 40 minutes to do. Because I've done it so many times, I just find that it comes very easy and quick to me. Here's what my hair looks like currently. It is still damp because of all the products used. Once it dries, it will shrink a little bit. And a few hours later, my hair is just about dry. It did shrink a little bit, which is totally fine. Shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair, so I don't mind. Here's how it looks and it feels really good. I will be using my silk scarf. This is going to help me preserve my hair while I sleep, which is also very important because the goal here is to preserve the hair. We wanna retain that length, so make sure that you do protect your hair at all costs by using silk or satin bonnets pillowcases and scarves like this. This is just going to make sure that your hair is not rubbing against cotton or anything else which can cause damage. So fast forward to three days later, here I am, I always sleep with my satin scarf first and then my bonnet. This is how I'm able to preserve my hair while I sleep. My hair still looks good and is thriving. Now for a fundamental part, I'm going to trim all those straggly ends. So a nice trim is going to help remove the split ends, which are major causes of hair breakage. Less hair breakage means more length retention. Here is a chart that you could see about where to cut. So here is a nice healthy curl at the end. I'm not going to trim that, but anything that does not look good and straggly, I will be removing so that my ends could look like the one I just showed you. And here's a good example of what I wanna cut and just trim it right off. Also, as you continue to trim your hair, you're not going to need to trim as frequently because the ends of your hair are gonna be in better condition. After I did that mini trim and all my ends look good and healthy, I'm gonna mist my hair with a good amount of water. Then I'm going to apply this Hair and Scalp Tonic by Vaughn. This is a weightless nourishing spray that's enriched with tea tree and juniper oil, so it helps to refresh the hair and soothe the scalp. Having a spray like this is really good. One, because it's weightless, so I'm not gonna get all that buildup on my scalp because I just did a scalp exfoliator and it would defeat the purpose, but it just makes sure that my hair and scalp stay nice and refreshed and balanced. I'm also gonna use this Desert Essence Jojoba Oil mixed with this Art Naturals Rose Hip Oil and apply them to my hair and scalp. Jojoba oil is really good because it mimics the natural sebum of your scalp, so it is lightweight, and also the rosehip oil helps with hydration. So I'm gonna combine the two together just to help lock moisture in on my scalp and in my hair. Because I will be wearing this style for two weeks, I don't want my scalp drying out and getting irritated, flaky, or any other adverse reactions. Anytime that I know I'm going to style my hair and wear it for up to two weeks, I really wanna prep my hair and my scalp so that there's no irritation and I keep a nice healthy environment for my hair to grow. I also love doing scalp massages to help encourage that blood flow and stimulation to get my hair growing nice and healthy. I don't want any clogged pores. I did put a little bit of castor oil on my edges to help strengthen my hair in that area. I also press the oils down the length of my hair so that they can reap the benefits that they have to offer. And because I do this process at night, I would put my scarf and bonnet on right after, but because I was going out, I did not do it. But here's how my hair looks after three days. I think that it still looks good. My hair feels very hydrated, moisturized, conditioned, nourished, all the above, and this creates a nice environment for my hair to grow nice and healthy. Now seven days after I initially twisted my hair, here is how it looks. It still looks good, and this is why I love using this technique and products because my hair still looks good. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much to iHerb for sponsoring it. All of these products are amazing. I would highly recommend. Check my description box for more information and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!